so what we do is we go up 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 to our uh, the top of the delete page right at the top here so that we can read the data that we want to all right so let's try and use the db uh, function to read so we're going to say db read something like so and we're going to create an sql okay so now we need our we need this id in our sql so how do we get it you guessed it right we use our get variable so we're going to say if is set because we always have to check if a variable is set because before we try to use it so let's use the get variable to get it from there and we're going to say id because that's what we named it at the top there so if that one is set then we can read from the database okay we need an option of what to do else if it's not set uh, we can create an error uh, right here error variable like this we're going to say error is equal to empty string like so and then right here if it's not there we're going to say error is equal to no such post was found something like that okay in case it's not set all right so we read from there as well now let's create our sql now the sql is easy we're going to say select all from posts because that's the uh that's the table where we have to tell it where to get where the id because we know it's not just id it's the post id something like that one word is equal to uh, because that's the column we are looking at post id right there so where the post id is equal to uh, we're going to create a, a variable called post id and then we'll say limit one because we don't want it to continue searching once it has found that very first one okay now it's important to put quotation marks around your variables like that when reading from the database as a security measure as well as a precaution okay so now we need to get a result from here the result is equal to okay so now we have to check if the result returned an array so we're going to say if is array result if this is an array right however if it's not an array then uh, something went wrong so error again we copy this and put it there okay no such post was found uh -huh. okay there we go there we go there we go okay so far so good uh -huh. and yeah so if everything was found then what we need to do is now assign everything to a variable called post okay or we can assign it to uh, row since we want this is just one uh, row that we are reading from so since this actually returns an array uh, we have to get that one row so i'm going to say row is equal to result and get one the first entry the first result in that entry so like that okay now this is not very uh what's the, what's what's the uh, thing uh, this is not very uh object oriented to do it like this so of course we have to create a uh Thing for reading posts so let's go to our um, uh, folder here in the classes we have a posts for, uh, class this looks like something this should be able to handle so let's see what functions we have we have one for creating posts we have uh, the next one for get posts with an ID 
Mm -hmm. What ID is that? Where user ID? Okay, so it's for getting posts of a particular person and then create post ID and so on. That's all. So what we need now is some way to create, um, to get one single post. So let's copy this. This looks like a, a nicely done uh, thing here. So instead of what we did there, we can simply copy and paste this one. It's a public function and we're going to say get one post or we're going to say get single post but uh, one post is enough like so and then here we'll use the post id like so so we revert this to post id where post id so select from post where post id there's no need to order this we're just going to say limit one like so and then to clean up the result we're going to say if the result is correct we return just the very first entry like that okay done so we've done this inside the post uh, class that we we are doing right here so as a result we don't need none of this now the thing is here if uh, the if the post was not found, it's going to return false, something like that. Okay, so we'll check for that. If it's anything apart from false, then we found the post. So get one post, there we go. So we replace all this, this is the advantage of object-oriented programming. We replace all this with uh, just one, one line. So let's remove this part, especially right here just a few uh, lines okay so if it is set we still need to check for this all right so we're going to say post uh, let's use capital letters here for the class like so if you want to post is equal to new post like so the new post class and then or oh, instead of uh, capital letters everywhere maybe small letters as we go like so mm -hmm. we're going to say post get one post like so and then we pass in the id which is the get id here now, one thing we didn't forget, we did forget here is to sanitize this uh, value. Now, since we know that the value, uh, this is in the post.php uh, class, we know because somebody can put in some malicious uh, data from here, since remember, we are getting this post ID from the URL. So anyone can supply whatever they want in there. So for security reasons, we are going to say uh, post ID is equal to add slashes uh, or instead a better way instead of adding slashes what we're going to do is check to make sure it is a numeric value right so if is is numeric we can check if it's numeric the post id like that okay now we, are, we want to check if it's not numeric so you put an exclamation mark there and we return false like so so what we are saying is if the value is not numeric it's it's not a number just return false because definitely it's going to return an empty we're not going to find that post id for as long as it contains letters so what return actually does is to exit the moment you say return it's going to exit this function so it won't continue uh, from there okay so we can get one post from here so post id and let's add it there like so okay now we need row so the row is equal to whatever is returned here now if the row is not returned if we, if not row because remember if we didn't find anything it's going to return false so 
not false is going to return true, which means this will execute if we return false. So if we return false, we get the error again and say no such post was found. Okay. So now all we need to check is if the error is not empty, then we know that we have an error. If it is uh, containing stuff, then it must be the row. Okay. So, so far so good. We have our row right here. Mm -hmm. So I can go down here and say, let's come down here. All right. So when I refresh, I can have something write some errors at the top here. But for now, let's just read the post here. We are assuming that everything is fine. We'll deal with that uh, error issue later. So let's come here. And what I want to do is put a, an HR tag here. Put another HR tag. And then echo out the PHP. Echo row uh, post. Like so. So we are echoing what the post contains. Oh, we have a syntax error on line 157. It's saying an unexpected uh, character here. Okay, syntax error 157. So right there. Okay, now the reason is because we didn't close our PHP tags. All right, so there we go. This is my first image post. So the post is showing right here. Now we need to just display it. Uh, a little bit better but you get the idea so because the video has gone on for too long i'm going to cut it here and we're going to continue exactly where we left on in the next video